Hello, visibility hackers, and welcome to this year. Welcome to 2023. Welcome to tonight's version, tonight's episode of Friday Night Live. I'm sure we're going to have uh, Jim join us soon. I'm sure. I'm sure. But you have me. I am Molly from Visibility Hacking Studios, visibilityhacking.com. And tonight we have got a ton to cover. You're going to see some cool stuff happen, but let's let's just get into it. So first off, I want to wish everyone happy holidays, regardless of what you are celebrating. I hope you are celebrating uh, in good spirits. Uh, we had a pretty fantastic um, laid back uh, holiday season here at my place. It was fantastic, exactly what I needed. And I am so pumped and ready for 2023. And I hope you guys are as well. And also, Happy New Year. Um, I'm going to continue to say Happy New Year uh, at least for a couple more days. Um, I try to I try to say it for at least the first week and a half. Because truly, a new year is a fresh start, whether it's a fresh start in your business or it's a fresh start in a new career for you, or it's just a new mindset you want to take on. The new year is a fantastic place, um, a fantastic excuse, I should say, uh, to be to be the best you. Um, so yeah, so welcome, everyone. So updates. Um, we've got a ton of stuff that's changing and happening here in the visibility hacking world this year. So let me get through that um, and we'll get into the meat of today uh, in just a moment. So first off, this year you are going to see a lot more behind the scenes of how we do what we do. Um, we've been pumping the year of content planner for a while now. I hope everyone has their hands on it. I hope you've been working through it. And if not, don't fret because we're going to help you work through that um, and we're going to show you what happens once you put your year of content into action um, and we're going to bring you along the ride to see how that looks um, in our business and how it can apply to your business as well so I hope you hope you come along uh, for that uh, you're going to see everything from the year of content up to up to and including and beyond um, high ticket closes and more. So come along for that one. Yay! Uh, you're also going to see and hear and feel a lot of changes here in the visibility hacking world. Um, there's going to be a bunch of different stuff. So I actually had to write a list down. So one, um, we're having so much fun putting shorts together. Uh, we are doubling our efforts and we're going to be putting shorts out um, or reels, I should say, reels on the Instagrams and shorts on the YouTubes. Uh, we're putting out twice as many, even three times as many um, as we have been in the past because uh, we're just having so much fun with them. Uh, so check those out. Join us over on our Instagram page at visibility hacker. Um, yeah, throw us a little DM over there. Let's chat. Let's connect. Um, this year, I'm definitely uh, resolving myself to use uh, Instagram more and to like be present on there a little bit more. So check out our Instagram. We've got some fun stuff going out there. And also on our YouTube channel, there's going to be a lot of things switching up. You're going to get a lot more um, behind the scenes. And uh, yeah, but that's a story for another day. So make sure you're subscribed over on our YouTube channel um, over there. Hello to everyone watching on YouTube. Hello to everyone watching on Facebook as well. Throw it in the chat where you guys are from, by the way. I'm super curious to see where you guys are tuning in from. Let me know. Um, and also, big news, drum roll. The live show is coming back on Monday. Yeah. So um, come check out the live show. That'll be a total blast because the live show is going to feel a little bit different as well because we're rolling it into this whole new um, ethos that we're sharing with you guys. The new behind the scenes, the new look and the new um, strategy of what we're what we're going to be sharing with you guys. So I'm so excited. Oh, New Zealand. Hello. Hello. Welcome, my Kiwi 
newbie friend. Uh, welcome. <laughs> So we, we've got a lot of big changes, and I hope you guys are along for the ride. It's been an absolute blast planning it through and really doing a deep dive into the year of content process and taking it to the next level, um, testing things out, figuring it out, uh, so that now we can we can share it with you guys, and I'm super excited with that. So with uh, with those changes, there's also a ton more that we're going to share with you when we can. It's kind of super secret stuff right now, um, but stay tuned. That will come. Uh, so with all of that, um, there's going to be changes that you're going to see here on the live show as well. Uh, so some of the changes, I'll just, uh, we'll sprinkle those ones out. So tonight we're going to try out a little bit of a new format. Um, we're going to talk about two different topics and then we're going to have a group discussion at the end. So I will throw out the join us live link, um, but we're not going to welcome anyone into the live. You can hang out in the waiting room until it's our group discussion time. Um, so we're going to try that out, uh, see how we feel about that. Um, if you have Q&A, if you have any questions um, that have come up while you're working through your year of content, um, drop those in the chat. But Start with the word question in all caps so that we'll be able to catch it. Um, and then we'll do a Q&A um, separate during each of our um, episodes. And that way we can keep things a little bit more organized. Uh, because believe it or not, my friends, this is the third season of this show. And I am um, beyond, beyond excited at the fact that we've been able to achieve this. Um so because of that, we have so many episodes. We want to be able to keep them organized for people um, so that we can really get um, get the answers and get the solutions for people quicker than having to r r go back through every single episode and figure out, oh, when was it that I said that? Um, and that way more people can get value um, out of what's being shared. So heck yeah to that. Um, I'm super excited. Super, super excited. All right. So uh, the two things. Oh, one more thing. There's one more thing so that this all makes sense. We're going to have different themes that are going to help us follow through on this whole behind the scenes. And these themes actually roll out of our us at the visibility hacking world doing the year of content process. Um, so we figured out what is our one big thing that we want to share with you guys? How are we going to share that? And how can we follow that through in a way that's cohesive and exciting and actually provides value? is isn't just regurgitating what everyone else is saying. And on top of that, my big goal was to make sure uh, and figure out a way that all of our content made sense and provided value um, and wasn't wasn't a headache to create. So that's been uh, that's been part of this giant journey. It's been super fun. And I'm like, so stoked that it's starting to roll out. We've this has been week one um, of that content. So yeah, you'll see it all sprinkled out. So Heck yeah. Let's get started today. We are talking about the foundations of goal setting and planning for success in your business. And this is before we start talking about content, because this week I want you to understand both the mindset that is required to have success in your business and in your life and what is required in terms of the process that's actually proven to help achieve incredible goals, keep motivation at its peak. So if you are ready to play along tonight, throw a heck yeah down in the chat and let's get into it. I don't have a fancy slide or um, or little presentation for you guys today um, because as you can see, I'm in a very different location than I usually am. Um, and that is because I do this thing in my goal planning process where every year I get to a part in the cycle where I, I realize that I need to check in on how things have been going. I see set a goal and then you want to go back through that process and go, okay, how did I do on that process of getting to that goal? Well, I don't ask myself this question. I ask my favorite person in the world this question. Hi, Jim Ford. How are you doing? Hello. How are things? How are you? How are Great. Things? Wonderful. Great. Haven't seen you like since last year. It's How are you doing? It's been a long time. It's I grew a, a beard. I cut a beard. I have a beard. 
It's been a full beard cycle. <laughs> but like we are moons. back. <laughs> we are back. <laughs> well, we have some people wanting to join us. Yeah. You guys can definitely join us. We're going to keep everyone in the waiting room until it is time for our group discussion at the end of today's episode. But guys, my friends, let's go. We can share that link for you guys if you want. But again, we're going we're gonna to try this new format tonight. We're going to try it. We're going to try it out. Um, all right. So tonight we are going to talk about um, planning for success. So let me, uh, let me ask you a question, Jim. Do you set goals for yourself in any way, shape, or I do, or but form? I'm bad at it. Okay. Perfect. Let's, let's workshop. I do it, but I keep them loosely in my head yep. where they're useless. And sometimes I forget them. And then when I remember them, it's not at the opportune time to work on them. And I go, mm, should have worked on that. So let's start at the root of it. When you set a goal for yourself, mm -hmm. tell me what that sentence is. What that sentence is? Yeah. Um, I will blank. I will what? As an example? No, um, give, me, give me a full sentence example. I will take an island by force. I will take an island by force. Okay, cool. So we could use a traditional, super popular version of goal setting, which would be using SMART goals, which in my opinion are really dumb. But SMART stands for specific. So you're taking an island by storm. Is there a specific island you had in mind? <laughs> no. No, I didn't. Okay. What, so I, what, a a real to... goal, an actual goal. <laughs> Because that's not, I'm not going to take an island by force. I'll go <laughs> hang out on one. But I'm not going to take an island by force. So an actual goal would be to um, to cross over uh, 50K a month with my VSO. Uh, Perfect. So we're going to be specific with that. We know we have a specific number we want to reach mm -hmm. and we know it's your VSL product. It's not a, I want to make 50K a month. That's too vague of a goal, right? Right. So right. we have specific. M, measurable. Your goal is great. You want to, well, half great. You, you have a <laughs> measurable number. You want to reach 50K. You want to reach 10K. You want to reach 100K. You have a timeline in this as well, which is the, the T part. Um, we have uh, smart, measurable, a, attainable. Is this something you can actually do? Are you starting your business? Is this like day one of going, I feel the calling to be an entrepreneur? Because that's going to be a lot less attainable, the goal of 50K a month. Sure. If, if that's where you are. So just recognize based on the resources, the skills and the experience you have around you, is your goal actually obtainable? Yeah, Jim, your, yours definitely is. Definitely is. We know this. <laughs> we know this. Um, S M A R. Um, is it a? This is the one I always forget. Relatable, reliable, relevant, 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 relevant. Um, so, is it a goal that's actually going to move you forward? Is it something that's important to you? Is it something that's meaningful to you? Yeah. Jim's been kicking butt and working his butt off with his VSL stuff. He is the VSL guy and there's not enough people out there who know this. So yeah, it's definitely relevant. It is a goal that is going to move Jim forward. Now we have, when it comes to the T in smart goals, timely time bound, you have a timeline associated with your goal. Kind of sure. you say you want to reach this measurable place 50k per month amount of time. but you haven't decided by when tell me what the timeline is is this going to be a if you keep it as vague as it is now to me that reads you're going to take 12 months to get to that point mm -hmm. and i don't think you're going to take 12 months to get to that point so if you were to refine that goal my only place i would ask you to refine is in that timeline and okay. hold yourself to it. Yeah. And don't change that timeline when you're halfway there and you realize, ooh, maybe that was a stretch goal. Because what I was saying earlier about the, real get my, real. About <laughs> the way that I set goals is I, I set a goal 
whatever it is. I go through that timeline and I come back and I look at the goal that I originally set and go, how'd that, how'd I do at that? Did I achieve it or not? Is the first question. And the answer doesn't have to always be yes. Yeah, of course, that's what we're striving for. But don't be ashamed if it's not yes, if you did not achieve the goal you're striving for. Because when you look back and you do this debrief, it's about figuring out what worked, what didn't, and how can you move forward better the next time. Absolutely. And that's something I've struggled with in the past. Very yeah. much. The other thing is when people are struggling with their goals, a lot of it is because we don't hold ourselves accountable. We don't sure. give ourselves someone else to hold us accountable to. That's Maybe we, we tell ourselves, yeah, this is something I'd really love and it would be so cool. And I know this because that was me for so long. I wanted to build this like secret multi-million dollar online business that none of my friends or family knew about. And then like I would be super successful and then just like suddenly I would show up. Like it, it ruined me because I didn't even want to do, I didn't want to pay for ads because I didn't want my friends or family to see me until I was successful right like test, test rod exactly exactly it just mm. molly test rod <laughs> that's why, uh, I get it yeah. though I get it yeah that's that's the thing so my friends instead of setting goals smart goals which are really dumb goals I want you to take a different approach I want you to take your right hand and and make like an L but like kind of more angled okay so do this and then i want you to do the same thing but with your other hand like an l but then like slightly slightly tilted okay now watch this you take your your thumbs you're gonna put them together like it's a straight line and then put your fingers together it's a pyramid i want you guys to remember the shape of a pyramid okay really Isn't big this on what the jay-z did or like a wrestler yeah. i don't know put your it's... diamonds in the sky Part of our cult. Oh. <laughs> Visibility hackers secret handshake. I like it. <laughs> when I we like see it. each other in the in yeah. the fields. Is that like a headbutt? Uh -huh. right. Yep. Yep. Uh yes, lefty. We are in fact um the Illuminati now. Okay. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Um he's throwing down his comments down in the private chat here. Hilarious. Um, all right, so pyramid. We all have our pyramid. The base of that pyramid is going to be the big grand goal that you're setting for yourself. So let's use Jim's example again, 50 K per month with a specific offer by a certain time. Okay. So that's our, our foundational goal. Wow. Fantastic. How are we actually going to go accomplish that? This is what the pyramid is. We take that big goal. We're now going to break it up. You can break it up into themes, into projects, whatever you want. I like to do it in terms of timelines. So we take our yearly goals. I don't, I don't plan further than a year usually. So you take your yearly goal, break it down into what can you accomplish in one quarter? I don't want you to plan the whole thing out for the year. Just one quarter. What is something that you reasonably can accomplish? Reasonably, but like think of yourself as future you. The you you want to be that accomplishes that stuff. You a couple steps ahead because that's going to push you to be better. That's going to push you to ask more people if they want your offer, to share it with more people, to put together the right resources. It's going to push you to do something different than you're currently doing, right? To achieve something bigger. So what can you reasonably accomplish as that person in three months? It's a lot of time. 90 days is a ton of time. Like 90 day fiance, people figure out if they're going to get married or not <laughs> in 90 days. You can figure out a lot in that time. Then the next step up in the pyramid is to break that down even smaller. What can you do to make that happen in one month? Actually figure out the, the three months. What are the steps you need to accomplish to make that quarterly goal? Then you break it down even smaller. You figure out what do you need to do on a weekly basis? What are the four things you need to do to accomplish that monthly goal? When you think of it that way, you think of it as small, manageable, bite-sized pieces that actually help you accomplish this huge goal at the end of the day. Talking about the end of the day, you break down your weekly goals into daily action steps. 
What are the actual things that have to get accomplished within one week to make this happen? Mm-hmm. And then at the end of the week. Much Molly like our, Sunday, our content process. Exactly. Exactly the same. It's taking something huge and breaking it down into manageable bite-sized pieces that make sense. Make sense for your audience so that they can learn something, so that they get the value and that they can take action. But it's the exact same process for you guys in planning your content and and planning your business and planning your life. This works for personal goals and business goals and everything, which I think is pretty heck yeah. I love it. I love it. (laughs) I'm going to ask you to do that again at some point. One day. (laughs) One day. One day, one day. All right. So next on um, next on our list to talk about tonight um, is this mindset called challenge by choice. And this mm. I think is kind of neat. And I'm still like figuring out the best way to explain it to people because it doesn't come from entrepreneurial stuff. It doesn't come from. Well, it comes from leadership. It doesn't come from marketing. It doesn't come from this business world. It comes from the world of experiential education. So for those of you who don't know me, hi, my name is Molly, and I like to make people scared for a living. And I'm not talking about haunted houses. Um, I I take people on adventures, and I, I get them rock climbing, and I teach them how to build fires, and I take them out camping, and we do archery, and we do things that are exciting, where people are learning from the experiences that they're having around them. They're learning to process through things, um, uh, process through challenges. Hi, hi everyone. Welcome. <laughs> They're learning to process through challenges, um, either individually or as teams. And the learning that happens is fantastic. But in order to have those beautiful moments of transformation, which is what we talk about constantly, we have to create a space where our, our people, our audience wants to pay attention. They want to participate, but also a space that I, as the entrepreneur, want to participate in. In that case, I as a facilitator, but here in your business, you need to have this same outlook on challenges. So just imagine this for a second. Instead of on Friday nights, us all showing up here in the comfort of your home or your office or your car, in your own routine with your people around you, what if I could snap my fingers and instantly we were all on the edge of a cliff in a really dense forest um, in a place you guys have never been where there's poisonous rattlesnakes? Like, does that change how you guys feel about this kind of marketing stuff we're going to talk about? Like when we talk about setting goals and stuff, does our environment make a difference? Like Very much how so. would you, how would you feel, Jim? If I went to somewhere with rattlesnakes? Yeah. If I just snapped my fingers and all of a sudden you were somewhere you weren't planning on being that happened to have rattlesnakes. I would try and get to somewhere where I planned on being <laughs> as quickly <laughs> possible. <laughs> well, what I, what I offer to you is you realize in this situation that you can't actually go anywhere. You don't know where mm-hmm. there is to go. There is nowhere but there in the moment to be. So you have two options. Let's make this as basic as possible. You have two options. You can either go, <laughs> hell no, guys. I'm just, I'm just going to wait here. No way. I'm out. You guys, I'm, I'm out. I'm, I'm going to go try and be where I'm supposed to be. So I'm going to go. Mm. I'm going to try and figure that out on my own. Or you have the option of going, all right. So like, we're all randomly here at the same time. So like, let's make the best of it. Let's figure it out. Um, let's take a positive outlook of like, okay, cool. We're all alive. We're all here. Uh, let's make the best of this. And that Are the snakes is... chasing you actively? No, no, no. Because no. I feel like that changes the dynamic quite a bit. They, yeah, they don't chase you. No, no. They if you just don't want to step on them or pick them up. Fair enough. Yeah, I'll tell you that story for another day. If you want to know the <laughs> rattlesnake story, rattlesnake in the comments, guys. We'll see. Um, so, so 
where, where was I? Okay. Yeah. So you have your, your two options. So you can either like, yeah. hell no, I'm out. I'm not, I'm not playing with this game or, yeah. or cool. Let's do it. I'm in. I'm in. Let's do it. So that my friends is what I want you to think about when you are faced with a challenge. Maybe it's absurd as like Molly snapped her fingers and now we're in the forest with rattlesnakes or it's something like, oh crap, I just got a customer who asked for a refund. Mm -hmm. Right? Those moments where you're like, oh shit. Oh, ooh, ooh, I don't want to do this. Those moments where you don't want to check your email anymore. Fast. Yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. I love this. I love this. Collecting experiences is way better than playing it safe. It 100% is because as I was saying to Jim earlier, it's not about failure. Don't think about if you don't achieve your goal that it's failure. Failure is only when you fail to achieve that goal and at the same time, you fail to look back and figure out what went wrong. Because not like missing your goal, he gives you so many options, so many opportunities to learn more. And so does taking on these challenges and taking on these obstacles. So in the world of experiential education, we have this, this phrase, and I like to say, I, I love it so much, I want it tattooed across my forehead, um, but it's called challenge by choice. And uh, challenge by choice means two things. Like a pancake, no matter how flat you make it, there's always two sides. So the first side is that no matter how, or that each and every person, so you as an entrepreneur, you have the ability to make your own choices. So in your business, you choose to put time and energy into the activities that you do. So are you putting time and energy into things that are helping your business move forward? Are you putting time and energy into th things that are your superpower? Or are you putting time and energy into things that you could easily hire someone else to do? That you could easily figure out a better process for or, or whatnot? So your way of participating in the challenge that is your business is up to you. No one's going to push you. No one's going to tell you where you should be. There's no golden framework out there. There is no magic ebook that's going to tell you your five business personalities and exactly what you should be doing in your business because it's unique to you, your business, your customers, your passions, things like that. So when you figure out that you have the ability to, to accept challenge, now we talk about the other side of that pancake. And that is the fact that we have to respect those choices that other people make because mm -hmm. they have the ability to choose their level of challenge as well. So when we have teammates and we're working in partnerships, whether you're doing JVs or you have a business partner or you're collaborating with someone in, in some way or you have a client and you're working on a big project, you have to recognize that not everyone's going to play the game as hard as you are. No, not everyone's going to be putting in the level of energy and effort that you think everyone else is putting in because everyone else has got their own life. They are choosing their level of challenge as well. So when you realize that, you're like, hey, I don't have to pay attention to what other people are doing. I don't have to compare myself to other people because it's all about me and my challenge in front of me. So I want you to take on this mindset, my friends, of challenge by choice, that you have the beautiful opportunity to take on these challenges, get these experiences, learn from these, because every single step you take is setting you up for success along the way. So if you make your plans, you do your year of content, you figure out your goal pyramid, you do all of these things, and then you go step by step, paying attention to the actions you're taking, the repercussions that come from those actions, and then how can you refine that and optimize that each step of the way? Heck yes. If you are with me, give me a heck yes down in the comments, my friends. I love it. That is, that's what I got to say, my friends. That is my, my message for tonight. <laughs> I like it. It's a great message. <laughs> Absolutely great message. I All like right. That. Choose it, your challenge. Choose your challenge. Exactly. Like exactly. Did you ever have a moment in your business journey uh, where you remember accepting something, accepting that you were going to do something that was hard? 
or that challenged you or that maybe scared you? Constantly. <laughs> Constantly. Yeah. Give me I mean, an example. And I, I ask even, this even because, to this day. Yeah. I ask this because Jim works with really cool people, really big names. He doesn't, he's not a name dropper, but he works with these big, rather intimidating brands. Um, and I think it's pretty cool because I would be shitting in my pants, um, to be completely, completely honest. So secretly, I just want to know what your secret is. Tell me, tell me. Secretly, everything. you want to know what my secret is? Just on, <laughs> in, in secret though, right? I can do yeah, just, just between us. All right, cool. Just between <laughs> us girls. <laughs> I mean, there's there's been so many. And every time that I get that feeling, it usually leads to something really, really good. Mm. So when I get that feeling, now I get excited. Yeah. At the same time as feeling fear and all those things at the same time. But now I go, oh, that means something big's about to happen. Yeah. Psychologically, what's happening in your brain and your body, that feeling of nervousness is yeah. actually exactly <clears throat> the same thing as excitement. It's just the yeah. context that it's happening in is is the meaning that our our brains give it. So you're realizing that no 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 this is this is excitement. This is this is growth happening. Well, like this the, is an opportunity. The, one of the earlier ones I can think of is episode one of X's and O's. Yeah, heck yeah. I got done with it and I was like, what did I do? Everything went wrong. Everything broke. Everything was messed up. My family was like, that was weird. And like everyone that was looking at it was like, what is this UFO going through my timeline? What is up? And it's just, I thought, oh, well, I guess I'm done with Facebook. I'm going to have to find a new platform yeah. because I've completely wiped out all of my friends <laughs> because they think that I'm insane. I'm just an embarrassment. <laughs> I'm just an embarrassment and I'm not this and I'm not enough that, or I'm too much this or I'm too much that all that stuff swimming through my head, all that muck and crap. And I had this fear that I was feeling at that time, I was sitting in this very chair, this crappy ass chair and just thinking to myself, you messed up. You shouldn't have done that. You know, no one wants to see that, especially from you. And I'm just all that negative thinking. It's just fear washed over me. And then came the positive affirmations from people. My phone starts vibrating off the table and people are like, that was insane. Please don't stop. That was the most fun I've had since COVID started. Please keep going. And then the next episode I got on two big names and I was afraid again, all over again, episode two, because now I had people that I looked up to in this industry as entrepreneurs coming on my weird ass show that I created in a fever dream <laughs> and they're, they're excited to come on. So now I'm thinking, okay, now I'm past episode one fears. Now I've got a whole new set of fears, just episode two. And that episode two fear was uh, they're coming onto my show and they're going to be let down. I'm going to let them down. They're not going to want to speak to me. I can't believe they're even talking to me right now, let alone coming on this show that I created. And so it's all that negative thinking crap. And so fear washed over me all over again, but I still hit the live button Yeah, and we still did it. And it was awesome. And then <clears throat> that keep rolling in to new fears and new fears and new problems to where Oh, Akbar Sheik messaged me back. He wants me to make him a VSL. Oh, my God. Yeah. Like, I better not mess this up. I'm going to let him down. It's not going to be good enough. It's not going to be what he needs. He makes millions. I make nothing. Like, all of those things came into play. And I had to push past that. But I knew at each of those milestones came something amazing. So now when I feel that way, I feel it. I let myself feel it because if you stuff it down, it comes back. Mm -hmm. And I, but I also go, Oh, something big's coming. Yeah. So as long as I can have that thought and that the one triggers the other, I can maintain and manage Yeah. Heck because yeah. I know that no matter how I navigate this, something's about to change. Yep. And so because yeah. of that, 
I've been able to handle it in a much more healthy way than I was prior. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Cheers to 2023, Jim. <sighs> oh, man. I can't believe, like, let's just take a moment to look back on three seasons of yeah. this show quick before we get into group Thanks. discussion. By the way, we've dropped the link down in the chat. You got to do it on your profile, Jim. Facebook won't let me. Um, but we'll, oh, yeah. drop the, we'll drop the join us live link um, and you can join us live on the show. We're going to have a group discussion in a bit. Um, but while, while Jim is doing that, let's just take a moment to reflect back on the fact that this is the third season of Friday Night Live. So where did Friday Night Live come from, you ask? Great question. Um, actually, Funnel Hacking Live in 2021, because of that big virus that went around the world. Um, that little thing? Funnels, I think it was a, yeah. I heard about it in the news a couple times. I think it's, yeah, right. I think you might have heard about it. Um, <laughs> So what ClickFunnels did with Funnel Hacking Live was offer both an in-person and a virtual option. I was able to attend uh, virtually and I thought, hey, my favorite part of Funnel Hacking Live is getting to hang out with people in the hallway and, and getting all hyped up before you run in um, when they open the doors and, and mixing and mingling with people. So I wanted to recreate that feeling. So I started um, Funnel Hacking Live, the unofficial Funnel Hacking Live pre-show. Um, and Jim was my favorite person in the entire world, as he always is, um, and got up so early with me. You guys know me. I get up early. I have energy. I like, don't. Who knows where I'm <laughs> Jim, Jim does not. Um, but man, Jim was a friggin' trooper and got up every morning, nice and early. Um, and we did our show live for like an hour or so. Um, sometimes longer um, before the official virtual uh, conference happened. Yep. And we had fantastic interviews with people. We had McCall Jones grab the phone out of one of our awesome guests and just pretty much just kidnapped ran. the she show. Ran. She, she sprinted down the hall. <laughs> but like, not she just was randomly way, interviewing like, people. And... It's kind of like she ran with us and just kind of like pulled us through the hallways and through the elevators and yeah. introduced us to her friends and showed us around. It was fantastic. Um, and which so we got attention the... of click funnels, mm -hmm. which got attention of, uh, we had Catherine uh, Jones Riley, on Steve, Catherine Jones noticed it. Uh, we had some amazing guests on like Mark Stern, yeah. uh, who's absolutely a fantastic human. And I mean, many others, yeah, There's so it, many guests, it's hard to kind of remember them all. It was an absolute ton. And it was just so fantastic to have this place where we could hang out and we can talk and we can share what we're learning and ask questions, kind of bounce ideas off of each other. So we vowed, we actually created a thing. I posted, oh, I don't have one up here. Um, I posted a little clip from the show um, on the YouTube channel in our shorts today where we came up with this thing um, because it was a Funnel Hacking Live conference. We decided we were going to end or begin every morning by swearing on a Brunson book um, and Brunson having book. one goal we were going to attain um, by the end of that day. Swear what was the Brunson action book. step we were going to take? Um, so in the spirit of um, swearing on a Brunson book, I'm like, hey, I don't want my show to always talk about swearing on Brunson books. So, hey guys, here's one of my secrets I'm sharing with you guys. Um, I'm gonna write a book this year so we can swear on a visibility hacking book instead. Oh my damn. So watch out. Just saying. Just saying. That's my that's my sneak. Um, so guys, if you want, click the join us live link. Join us in the uh, in in the stream yard here. We're gonna bring um, some people on. We got Lefty coming to hang out with us. So my friends, if you're watching, come join us. We'd love to see you guys. Um, yeah, because like, look, look, guys, we love you. We love you. We we love you guys. So join us, join us and get ready, Lefty, get ready because I got to change the graphics first and then I can bring on Lefty. Actually, let's do it this way. Let's see how we look. No, oh. no we're going this way. <laughs> Patiently oh. waiting over here. Really close up. Hold on, so Mr. Close. Lefty. Can I, can I have a tour of what you've done to your side background there by the stars? 
Oh, yeah, I know. That's new, right? That's it's good. gorge. Thank you. So I just need to say I'm loving how bright the background is going, but also how well lit you still are. Well, like this is why he's the video Jedi guys. Like just <laughs> saying this, there's a reason behind this. Okay. Good. Tell us everything. I miss you. I miss you. I miss you too. I am just waiting to come back into the area so we can go for pizza and that we can just do our sushi or something. You know, we have so much to catch up on. We like to eat. <laughs> oh yes, we do. But honestly, such good times. Like, like, please don't keep me waiting for too long, please. Okay. Um, we, we're going to do it by the end of the month. All right. I like it. Um, okay. So studio tour, I guess. Uh, yeah. Well, we all know the lights that are in front of me. I use mm -hmm. the, the nano leaf uh, technology that they like to call it. It's like these uh, triangular lights. You can buy the, well, you have to buy the starter pack initially. Otherwise you don't get all the, you know, the bells and whistles to kind of like connect and go to Bluetooth and whatnot. Um they come in two packs. They come in a nine pack and I believe a 15 pack. To be honest with you, I made a mistake the first time I bought them and bought the nine pack, not knowing that there was a 15 pack. And literally it's like a difference of like 60 bucks. So just buy the 15 pack. And My then friends, this is learning from your mistakes. Yes. It's okay. Yeah. You're exactly. still going to look great. Exactly. Um, cool thing is, is that you can buy additional panels. They come in packs of three. So every single time that you want to kind of like add to the wall, you most definitely can. I, I think I've run out of space. I think I have about like, I think I have about 23 panels up on my wall. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. It's a nice. lot. And quite frankly, I've really just wanted to try and make my space more 3d-ish yep uh because as much as i do love filming my my reels a certain way as you guys have seen them in, in, in 2022 oh there you go right but as much as as much as i've like you know filmed my reels a certain way i actually did my first youtube video that i that i put out today i did it standing up cool and normally I'm sitting down. So that that, that was pretty interesting. Uh, accidentally didn't switch the focal length. Uh, so I'm a little closer to the camera than I'm supposed to be. <laughs> but then I was like, you know what? Screw it. I'm not re-recording this. We're just going to do it because done is better than perfect. Oh, my goodness. Okay. We have to – I have to jump on that for a sec because I okay. totally had that. In the last couple of weeks, I've been filming like mad. And I see. Well, if you guys pay attention, a lot of my, and it, like, if you're a keener and a super nerd, and if this is you it, by any chance, definitely let me know in the comments because we got to talk. Um, but if you pay attention to my stuff, you'll notice that I use a very wide angle lens for a lot of my stuff. And yeah, well, um, maybe that was the one thing I forgot to change and had some <laughs> random setting on that also just, long story short, I had horrible filming day i was so pumped i was so excited i had so much going it was all great and the film looks like crud yeah but i went with it anyways so uh for you keeners it's all the content that's like got lots of filters and lots of like stuff going on it's really interesting but that's the secret but you just yeah. go with it right yeah no i know those days all too well just and uh i don't know i i i i, I changed this I don't know if you guys remember the big steel yeah. structure that I had here. That's behind me now. Yeah. And I wanted to, you know, display my lightsaber a little nicer. So that's what's there. I got <laughs> Iron Spider on in the corner, and I have Shazam right above him. And the lights are just like the uh, the sticky lights, and it's from it's what's the LED strips. The Lenovo Smart LED. Yes. Oh, okay. The, yep. The smart strips. Nice. And yeah, I honestly just set it to white. It is currently at 100%, but, you know, I could take it down to yep. 10% if I want. But I and like 100 because color? it gives that nice anamorphic look. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, yeah, that's that's that. 
The Can complexion's you... all mine. I did not saturate the image. Thank you very much for being Greek. <laughs> so jealous. You can't thank lights for this. You thank jeans. Thank <laughs> my mom. Um, and 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 yeah. Oh, I I put some sound panels up in the ceiling. I have yep. sound panels behind me. Which ones uh, did you make? Oh, the what I made. Oh, okay, guys. Okay, I'm gonna flip my camera. I actually have a wall right here. It's I remember really talking to you about that. Yeah. Yeah. So it is. I want to say two feet by four feet. Yeah. It's uh, it's it's plywood, uh, with two two by four pieces or, yeah, two by four pieces on the back drilled in. So that way it stands up so it can have some yeah. support. But. Uh, that's that right there if you could see it yeah 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 is that the one that you were building last time we were on yes that that is the one that that i was building so that's there i have a pretty deep room so now this allows me to just control my voice and control yeah. my audio so i don't spill too much but i actually noticed that it was this back wall that was giving me the most problems because i was speaking and then the my voice was just bouncing back at yeah. me and yeah. I'm in post hello. And I'm like, why the hell do I sound like this? And I couldn't <laughs> figure it out for the longest time. And then all of a sudden I just decided to put those there and I'm like, oh, it's Ooh. gone. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. And so that's what I've been up to. You know, I, I, I kind of have a more futuristic look on my, uh, on my YouTube channel too. Um, I have this like vintage cyberpunk thing going on. So, uh, so yeah, that's, I, I figured I got to play the part and I'm happy where it looks and I'm, I'm happy with everything. 2023 is off to a pretty good start so far and, uh, power of the low ticket offer. Never thought I would say that in my life, but, uh, but yeah, power of the low ticket offer, and uh, and I'm building a film crew. Heck yeah! Yeah, man. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So we got about ten minutes left in today's episode. So let's get to today's big question of yes. the day, which is, what are your goals for 2023? Like, what is what is goal numero uno? One and one primary goal that you have set for yourself. So if you are watching either live or on the replay, let us know your responses, your goals down in the comments. Use hashtag 2023 visibility goals um, and we'll be able to comment back, follow you around. Yes. Let's connect. Let's do what we can as visibility hackers to help each other achieve those goals. So let's claim them tonight what are your goals so comments if you're watching live but if you're here live i, I want to hear it we we got to make sure they're good are, no dumb goals are you, dumb. you're asking me what my goal is well i'm asking everyone you're okay Cause, cause him, Jim, so what, you want you want to start with lefty i i guess i mean i I'm, I'm, i've been called to the floor there's, there's been there's, voluntold let's go we, we can't do anything about it anymore it's done um <laughs> Well, funny enough, Jim and I actually have the same exact financial goal, which is, which I, I, we never had this conversation before. Gold like, twinsies. Yeah. It's like you show up to a party and you're like, you're wearing that shirt too. Um, Awkward. But yeah, no. are battle buddies. Well, hey, I mean, Jim was, uh, Jim was my uh, accountability partner uh, at the beginning yeah. of last year. He, uh, he volunteered himself and we you know we got along uh, pretty much right from the start, to be honest with you, love at first sight. And, uh, and, uh, and yeah, no, it's just, it's just really, it's just really awesome to hear that. It's like, when, Jim, when I heard you say that, I was like, no freaking way. Oh, that's actually my goal. Like, I swear to God, you know, Julie and I have been literally talking about that. So I think we're going to be getting into accountability partners part two. And, uh, and, and yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll see. I, uh, Jim's doing some great things. I feel like I'm doing some great things and, and yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens. Oh, and creating just cooler shit. Like this year is just about creating bigger, badder, cooler shit. If that's a VSL, great. If that's a promotional ad, great. If that's a short film that I'm going to be working on with my team, great. 
if that's you know a documentary wink wink nudge nudge yes absolutely absolutely yes yes that's still in the works but john, uh, john says a full night's sleep one of these days <laughs> <laughs> Poor John. John's a best. I know. I have him. I have him working like a dog too, man. John oh, Rohit, Rohit says, "Live my life like my best version would live every day." I like that. I, I like love that. that. And Molly, I know you're gonna love this one. My YouTube channel. I uh, I have mm -hmm. a goal for my YouTube channel. It's a it's a lot more than I expected, but at the end of the day, I'm su I'm loving the journey. I'm honestly loving the journey. Ever since I got monetized, uh, I know I shouldn't do this because. It's like a scale. You're not supposed to go on the scale every day because nothing really changes. But <laughs> the cool thing is, is that I go up anywhere between 50 cents to a dollar every single day. I open up Thanks. the YouTube studio app. Um, unfortunately, it's not as fast as I'd like it to because yeah, YouTube doesn't pay you until you yeah. hit a $100 threshold. Yeah. So it's like, ah. Oh, but luckily, I have also the financial means to uh, back it up with paid ads so I can yeah. accelerate that process if I wanted to. Nice. Yes. Yeah. I love it. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. We have to do a collab, you know? Oh, yes. Yes, we do. And Jim, if you come to Toronto, we're, you're No, don't say if. if. When? when? When you come, I'm going to be waiting for you at the border with like a I'm going to say <laughs> Toronto. <laughs> Yeah, just Toronto. No! Toronto. Get out. I just got here. No. <laughs> I just That's stepped into Tur Toronto. No. I'm going to be standing yeah, already the kicking me out. border with a sign. <laughs> already kicking me Welcome to Toronto. No. No Toronto. It's Toronto, bro. Toronto. Toronto? Yeah, we're not. Yeah, There's not even T's in there? Uh, it's just the one T. Yeah? The, 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 the final Toronto, like Toronto. Piranha? Yeah, it's silent. It's Toronto. Or the T dot. Yeah. Or the six. six. <laughs> the burrows. Crazy Canadians. Yeah. I love you guys. So, uh, Molly, your goal. Yes. Oh, geez. Oh, okay. Oh, I had like this crazy. There. That was so Canadian. That was so Canadian. Oh, yeah. geez, there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, like, my goal there is to, uh, to like make sure that we got we got forks in Canada. Eh? No, um, it's to count five mooses and four four beaver pelts. Eh? Uh, my goal for twenty twenty three. Um, well, here. Truth be told, it's the Domination. exact same goals I set for twenty twenty two. But because twenty twenty three two was such a dumpster fire for me. Oh, sorry, my greenery's in the way. So, okay, number one. I'm publishing the book. I already told you guys about that. Number two, mm -hmm. Jim and I have been talking about this for a while, but we're going to host a live event. And like, that's all I'm saying about that right now, because yeah, this says, it and doesn't wrong, say wrong, wrong as fuck. Wrong F. <laughs> strong. 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 There we go. <laughs> strong. I think it's funny when it said wrong F. <laughs> and then so here's my goal to grow to at least 1K on my YouTube channel. And I mm -hmm. actually talking about timelines i want to achieve that like sooner than later like not that's not a december goal that's a like q1 q2 goal um mm -hmm. we're at just shy of four we're at like 445 right now hmm. haven't done a cent of paid ads my friends not a penny um and we're almost at a thousand videos wow how many yeah, in the group, so I, group now and in the group we're 846 incredible humans That's like amazing. incredible humans okay enough about my youtube channel and all of that um i oh my goodness the people who have been joining the visibility hacking group in the last little bit wholly inspiring humans like mm -hmm. i am i love you all i love these visibility hackers you guys are incredible so um yeah that's Oh yeah, crazy, crazy goal. So those are my crazy goals. Um, and then my other crazy goal is five thousand pieces of content this year. Oh <laughs> for what? Yeah. Wow. I love it. Lefty is yeah. like it's like, what? Why? Why? Yeah. My oh, my mission yeah, is the absolutely before. incredible Troy Aberley in the audience. Thank you so much for watching, Troy. Appreciate you. 
And Rohit says, how can I join your group? Link the channel. Also, please. What? Okay. Okay. Here we go. Rohit, where are you watching us from? Are you watching us from Jim's profile? I love the display picture. Or my profile? Yeah, that's a great display picture. Let me know. Yeah, that is. And oh, that's good. our colors, too. I feel, I feel a connection. I feel a connection. And Troy, you're welcome to join us any day. We love, we love having you here. We love having you here. All right. So how do you join our group? You head over. Jim, you got to do the one on your side. You want me to get you? I'll do the one All on right, gotcha. my side. Join us in the group. Bam. There we go. There we go. Heck yeah. <laughs> John, I love you. I love you so much. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Uh, believe me, I know you can, too. That is that is kind of the scary part. <laughs> and also with that 5,000 goal is that I'm not just repurposing stuff. I'm not just doing right. the surface level Gary V, take your big piece of content and then chip off some repurposed pieces from the video. That is like less than 30% of the strategy overall. Um, there is a lot of original stuff. And remember, all of it is based off of what I told you guys at the beginning of this episode. It's all from the year of content that Jim and I did. It's taking that process and going, whoa, now I have a strategy. Now I have a script for my people. It's not a word for word script for every single post. But what you're getting is the like, wow, I know what I need to say in my first post and I know what I need to say at the end of the year and now I just have to go about my year and go okay cool what's this week's theme let's talk about it so now I'm going to show you guys how you can take that process and create 5,000 pieces of content that are original that are interesting that are value packed and are all tied back to the pieces of value you want to share with your audience that is also paving the uh, yellow brick road to them purchasing your products and services. So, heck yeah! Alex Armozzi does a thousand pieces of content, spends 70,000 a month. Molly does 5,000 in a year, spends zero. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you guys, before we uh, before we wrap up, talking about studio tours, you want a little tour of this place? Yeah, I like your little new setup going on here. Okay. One of the many that you have. One of the many that I have, exactly. So if you guys you have like three studios in your place, right? I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> um, so if you if you watch my YouTube channel a little bit ago, I told you that I was setting up a no excuses because we're all about the options, not excuses. Um, no excuses mini studio. What I realized, because I go back and I look at where success is and where there are roadblocks, and I realized that my office and my studio that you, we usually hang out in is down in a basement. Like, there is zero natural light. It's fantastic it. for evening live it. streams, but it sucks for trying to get in, inspired work done during the day, and it's really not the best lighting. We'll just be like real bland and like straight up about that. So um, I have three beautiful windows up here. I get incredible natural light. This is the jungle. The jungle has been redesigned. Um, I'm not going to show it all to you because it's not done. Um, and what I did, what you guys don't see, um, that actually on my Facebook profile, I posted a picture um, in the last couple of days of part of this setup. I got a kind of... It's a small sit stand desk, so it has okay. like um like a pneumatic piston on it, mm -hmm. um and it's it's just small enough to fit my computer. It's not a giant thing, um so I can move it around. It's got wheels. If I want to sit over there, I can do it. If I want to sit here, so I can like turn you guys around, and I could be like, oh wait, my chair doesn't move though. <laughs> my chair doesn't move. I'm not in an office chair. Uh, so I could be like, oh, today I feel like filming nice. something with this background. Oh, I'm batch filming. So like, let's do some videos over here. Oh, we're switching again. For those of oh, you God. that don't know, that's actually her YouTube voice that she's now using. Now we're going right over now. here. <laughs> Welcome. Um, so yeah, actually, this is kind of fun. I like this. I like standing. Really cool. Nice. 
to do this more. Yeah, I definitely want to do more. I, would, I definitely want to do more standing up videos. I liked it. I, I, I enjoyed it. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm looking for more like movement in my life. So I, I've decided that standing is going to be a cool thing. And maybe we'll see um, a like walkie treadmill kind of. Yeah, I want one of those. I saw that it was like a desk chair. That's like a treadmill. And like you just sit there and you do your oh, work. Oh, there's one that's like you stand at your desk and it's like a treadmill, but it doesn't have like the hand rails or anything. So it's yeah. just a pad. Yeah. Oh, I love it. Yeah. I love it. So like, I'll be like, hey guys, how you doing? <laughs> this isn't annoying at all. We're going like, to oh, jazz our size. I need the like workout. Okay, guys, here we go. You need the camera attachment that like comes off of you. Remember those old videos where it'd be like, you know, yeah. I saw a guy like, recently it's walking like locked around. into your face, but everything else is crazy. I saw a guy walking around Toronto like a month ago with like that attachment for a smartphone. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> old old guy vlogging and i was like what are you doing it's like looking up his nose you know that angle perfect like beautiful that's the Top dream quality content out there no my friends way. imagine <laughs> me trying to do that it's sony a7 3 24 to 105 millimeter i have like i'm trying to like juggle like 15 pounds like okay let's go yep oh i feel that all right, my friends, it is time to wrap up this week's episode. So reminders for you before we uh, we head out here. Live show coming back on Monday. Make sure you are subscribed to the Visibility Hacker YouTube channel because that's where you're going to see that episode, my friends. Make sure you are in the Visibility Hackers Facebook group because that's where we like to hang out. Feel free to drop any questions you have when it comes to marketing, branding, brand awareness, lead generation, all that fun stuff. We're going to talk about it. Um, and next week, our theme... Of course, I don't have it just pulled up here. Um, how about Jim? You you close it out, and I will find what next week's theme is. <laughs> if we don't already have one, I think that talking about AI incorporated with what we're doing is a wonderful topic of discussion. And if not, then we can we, set it. We have for topics. An off we day. have topics. We can set it for an off day, but it is definitely all the talk around the water cooler. Next can. week's topic is document, don't create. Good call. That is our theme. Document, don't create. Wait, oh, awesome. Lefty, your beautiful beard reminded me. <laughs> the one thing I haven't been talking about. The book club. I was going to ask. The book club. All right. So, my friends, business building book club. Um is coming back uh, officially. It's coming back in two parts. I'll make this as quick as possible. There are two levels. You can join both of them. I'm not asking for a penny from you right now. So tier, if you want to like seriously be part of the group that in depth reads word for word, bounces ideas off of each other, <laughs> is with each other, that is going to be tier one. You're going to join us every Thursday morning and we're going to read word for word our books. If that's less your thing and you want the Coles Notes version, once a month we're going to have a book club meet and greet where we can all chat, we can have summaries, we can share our reflections on the books. This month's book is Daryl Eve's YouTube Formula. Um, Jim and I saw him live and oh my goodness, we're going to rock Great this. Book. So join us Great Thursdays book. business building book club. Uh, if you want more information, book club down in the comments and we'll get you connected. Heck yeah. 42? 45 seconds for five minute Fridays. <laughs> oh, five minute Fridays. That should be a segment. We do 42. The answer is always 42. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, so was Don't I supposed to start reading yet, or are we waiting to read? No, it? we're going to start reading this coming Thursday. Okay. Yeah. I love it. And I we're going to read together. It. I'm going to set up a StreamYard link. We're going to stream it into the Facebook group, but it's not going to stay up for longer, for very long. Um, so those who want the value of it, I get if you are a morning person that just wants to listen passively, by all means, watch us live, throw your comments in the questions, in the chat, we'll engage with that because there's a couple of us and we're going to really like 
get down into the weeds of the content of the book, which is fantastic. Um, and then we're also going to keep those up just for a short amount of time. So you can check out the episode throughout the week and then bam, it's coming down um, in time for the next week's episode to come up. Um, and I'll tell you if you want access to all the recordings and all of that, that is a story for another day. And speaking of the AI, Jim, yes, I put out a video on YouTube about it today. So that's Fantastic. just my little review, in my opinion. I don't know if you guys watched it yet, but I'm not scared of these things. Yeah, not yet. Not for probably another 15 years. Yeah, I'm excited about what they're doing, um, uh, but it's not something we need to worry about. No, definitely not. Definitely yeah. not. I'm actually AI right now. We know. Oh yeah, yeah. You're not I even here. <laughs> your beard, your beard doesn't glisten the same way. We'll get there. The technology <laughs> will catch up. Yeah. <laughs> all right, my friends. Thank you all so, so, so much for joining us tonight for Friday Night Live. Um, we'll see you very, very soon. Make sure you're subscribed on the Facebooks, this is the Visibility Hacker Group, clearly. The YouTubes, the Visibility Hacker channel, and Lefty's channel. Check them out. And you need to check us out on the Instagrams as well because you're, we're, we're going to hang out there. I got a cool carousel I posted this week. Check it nice. out. Let me know what you think. Don't Check comment on the fact that the page numbers are odd. Let me know. Let me know. You know what I did, Molly, just so, just so you could feel better about that? One time I posted up a carousel with the thing that literally said at great real site still on it <laughs> from Canva. And I literally did that accidentally. And I was like, I didn't even notice it was there. It was so small. But I was like. <laughs> <laughs> well, you are a really great site, Lefty. Oh, thanks. Hashtag facts as the kids say. <laughs> All right, guys. A wave goodbye. Remember, we love you. Be excellent to each other. And by all accounts, my friends, just go live because, you know, that's that's where all the fun stuff is. I'm going to start. And, uh, yeah. Also, oh, wait. No, no. We can't leave yet. We can't leave yet. Got to say, hey, Jay Lee. We love you, Jay Lee. The, the so, sales ninja. Ninja. Yeah. All right. Today's episode has been brought to you by... Wah, wah, the sales ninja. <laughs>